Hello, St. Thomas family. Uh, my name is George Phillips, and it's a pleasure to get a chance to join you virtually and talk a little bit about this year's stewardship program. Um, you may know me from uh, seeing me online with Father Garf and some other videos, and I promise we're not going to talk very much about COVID this time. Um, my family, my wife Robin, and our three kids, Carter, Kelsey, and Allison, uh, we started attending St. Thomas uh, back in 2015 when we moved here from Iowa City. Uh, we are usually 845 goers, although we occasionally bounce to other services, but um, you sometimes uh, will often see my wife uh, greeting uh, before services. Um, our daughters are acolytes. Um, my son Carter, who's now off at college, uh, loved to be an usher, um, and you'll see me over in the praise band from time to time. We really enjoy um, the range of activities that St. Thomas has given us to participate both in worship and then in service to the community as well. When Bruce and Father Gar both asked me to share a few words about um, participation in uh, stewardship, it, it was a little tough this year. You know, I, I, I am your senior warden, and so I, I do know a lot of what's going on in the church, uh, but I was struggling a little bit to find the right words. And I, I think part of that just reflects the craziness of the last year and a half excuse me, that we have all been through. And it's not just the pandemic, at least for me, there have been lots of things in this last year or so. Um, sending our oldest child off to college was a big change. Um, you know, the, the pandemic itself and with me, my day job is I'm a pediatrician. And so I have seen so many aspects of the pandemic, but also a lot of things about how we interact with each other as a society that have really been disappointing and challenging and really led me to question a lot about my calling and my profession. And so then you put all that against the backdrop of saying, oh, it's time to ask everybody for their time, talents, and treasure again. And it makes the ask a, a little understandably hard. And so I, I thought, what, what should I do to come up with the right words? And so I went to the Episcopal Church website and looked up stewardship, and sure enough, there was a wonderful quote, and it's in this week's Tower Talk. If you get to see it, I, I asked to put it in there. And it talks about that stewardship is the act of building community out of a spirit of abundance rather than a mindset of scarcity. And when I stop and think about our lives as a parish family. We are rich in that family. We, we do so many things in the community from the youth programs, mission programs, supporting other community organizations. We do so much to support each other, uh, neighborhood groups, other small groups that meet here at the church. Um, there are so many activities and so many ways for people to participate both in worship and in community. Uh, that it is a wonderful, abundant life that we are so fortunate to have as a parish family. And that really helps to drive away the scarcity that I know I feel sometimes when I think about the way that life seems to roll along. So I am so grateful for the oasis that St. Thomas has been throughout this entire pandemic. And I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to serve you during that time. And I'm immensely grateful for the gifts that you as a parish family have given to me and to my family to support us through this time. So it's time to make that ask. Uh, time, talents, and yes, treasure. We need all of those to continue to grow as a parish as we've done throughout this pandemic, which is amazing in and of itself. But I also want you to prayerfully think about stewardship in terms of what's the opportunity for you to receive by giving your time, your talents, and your treasure. What is God calling you to do in service? And what door is he opening up for you to also live more of that abundant life? I hope you'll prayerfully consider that with me and with all the other members of the St. Thomas family. And... Thank you for being part of our parish family.